Before we start, warning. Spoilers ahead. Today, I'm going to recap a 2015 Korean historical drama movie, called Assassination. This movie tells the story of Korean resistance members who refuse the Japanese colonization and plan on assassinating the Japanese higher-ups. However, there are a lot of spies present within the organization. So, how do they plan to execute the spies? Will they obtain the objectives in the end? Let's find it out. In 1911, a pro-Japanese Korean businessman named Kang meets the Japanese governor-general in order to establish his business. Suddenly, a Korean resistance fighter named Yem sets off a bomb which injures the governor. One by one, the Japanese soldiers are shot to death. However, he is also hurted in the process. Kang who wants to befriend the governor, saves him and brings him to his house. He realizes that his wife supports the resistance and has taken care of Yem's gunshot wound. That night, Kang's wife plans to travel far to free Yem from the Japanese and also happens to bring their twin daughters. Secretly, Kang orders his subordinates to follow and kill Yem and his wife. A gunfight between Yem and Kang's men breaks out, resulting in Yem missing a finger. Despite his skills, Yem loses the fight and is captured by the Japanese police who also join the brawl. During the commotion, a wet nurse runs off with one of the twins. Kant's other daughter is taken from her mother and she is shot to death as per Kant's orders. 22 years later, Yem has been freed and has become a captain in the resistance. He meets with the two legendary resistance leaders to plan an assassination. Yem is tasked to gather three members who will execute the plan. The first member is An, a resistance sniper. Unbeknownst to them, she is also Khan's missing daughter who has been in the Independence Army camp for 22 years after her wet nurse brought her there. Secondly, Wan the explosives expert who is now in jail with the third member, Big Gun. In the jail, Yem meets Huang and Big Gun and asks them to meet the others in a hotel. He also picks Un up from the camp's post and relays the message too. In the hotel, Un meets a Korean mercenary named Hawaii Pistol. Pistol and Un pretend to be married to dispel the Chinese police who are looking for Japanese gangsters. Currently, Pistol is hunting the gangsters down to get a bounty on their heads. He orders his assistant, Buddy, to follow them. Meanwhile, Yem is meeting a Japanese police officer. Turns out, Yem has become a Japanese spy after being tortured into submission when he was in jail. He leaks the plan to the police and they plan to kill the three members to thwart the assassination. In the hotel, the resistance leader briefs the three members further. They are going to kill a Japanese general who has led a Korean massacre, and Kang who has become a leading pro-Japanese lapdog. After taking a photo together, the leader orders them to leave earlier at dawn, since he has suspected some spies among the members. In the morning, the Japanese police search the place but cannot find the three members because they have departed safely to Seoul. They inform Yem and ask for the assassination target. Yem breaks into the leader's room and finds further details on the plan. Suddenly, the leader walks in and he suspects that Yem is the one who has leaked the plan to the Japanese police. Yem overhears that the leader will test him with an unloaded gun. He rushes to his room and manages to drive away the suspicion by pretending to shoot himself with a gun. Despite his tricks, leader has secretly asked the members to search Yem's place and they find a codebook and money inside. He orders the members to tail him tomorrow, to exterminate him if he is proven to be a spy. Meanwhile, Yem meets the Japanese police officer to hire Pistol and Buddy, to kill the three resistance members. Yem lies to the mercenaries and says that the three are Japanese spies, to convince them to cooperate. After the meeting, the resistance members who have been tailing him come out and confront him. Yem is cornered but manages to exploit their gullibility and shoots them to death. Then, he decides to go to Seoul to directly mess with the assassination, and get the Japanese's protection from the resistance. After some time, the three members have arrived in Seoul. Madame the cafe owner, relays further information about the plan. They plan to empty the target's car's tank so that they will have to visit a nearby gas station which is away from the police posts. There, they will carry out their plan and kill the targets. Meanwhile, Pistol and Buddy are also on their way to Seoul. They pretend to be high-ranking Japanese officers and befriend the Japanese general's son. Turns out, the general's son is going to marry Mitsuko. Unbeknownst to them, Mitsuko is actually Aunt's twin sister who has been living with Kang in Seoul. 
Upon arriving, the mercenaries immediately go to the rickshaw company to look for their targets. The company's employee mistakes Aunt's photo with Mitsuko and informs the mercenaries that she is Khan's daughter. On the other hand, the three members are carrying out their preparation. They pretend to hit the target's car and promise to repair it for free. Some time later, Un goes to a department store to buy new glasses. She needs the glasses today to carry out the assassination, so she leaves her address to get a delivery service. Upon leaving, Mitsuko catches a glimpse of her which makes her wonder about her long-lost twin sister. Meanwhile, Wang and Big Gun arrive at Kant's house. They disguise themselves as car repair services and empty the target's car's tank for tomorrow's plan. Unbeknownst to them, Pistol and Buddy are watching from afar. That night, Pistol follows Big Gun to assassinate him. Big Gun manages to fool him and leads him to a fist fight. After some time, Pistol holds his gun again making Big Gun flee with gunshot wounds. Big Gun doesn't return that night and the assassination plan is troubled. And as the captain decides to commence the plan, with the help of the Japanese employee who is also a Korean sympathizer. The next morning, Yem arrives in Seoul and leaks the information to the Japanese police. Despite the condition, the general still insists on commencing their trip due to his pride. Khan recommends to switch cars to avoid the assassination to which the general agrees. Meanwhile, the resistance and the mercenaries have arrived at the scene to run their own agendas. In the gas station, the sympathizer realizes that the targets have switched cars. He tries to warn the other members, but they end up blowing up the wrong car. And continuously kills the police who are alerted by the explosion. However, they keep on swarming the place and disturb the assassination. Suddenly, Pistol catches up to Ahn, but he recognizes her and hesitates to shoot. The assassination turns into a car chase when the targets are trying to run away. The police keep on swarming in and corner Huang and the sympathizer, and they are killed in the gunfight. Ahn sees her comrades fall one by one, and is determined to carry out the plan. However, she is caught off guard when she finds out about Mitsuko, her twin sister. Pistol is also caught by the police and they are transported to prison together. In the transport, they kiss one another to lure the police in. They successfully break out of the prison and hijack the car. Buddy also catches up to them and they manage to flee. Then, Pistol brings Un to hospital, after realizing that she is not a Japanese spy. Un finds out that the mercenaries are sent by Yem who also has recruited the three of them into the resistance. After reconciling, Pistol is moved by her determination in devoting her life for a free career, so he lets her get away. Outside the hospital, Pistol and Buddy meet the general's son whom they have befriended. He asks them to come as his personal guards to his wedding party with Mitsuko. Suddenly, a Korean girl bumps into him and he shoots her to death. Pistol tries to distract him from shooting the rest of the girls, but he is surprised to know that he has killed more than 300 Koreans with his own bloody hands. Pistol who is also Korean, leaves with anger in his heart. Meanwhile, Yem comes to Khan's house and informs him that one of her twin daughters is trying to assassinate him. Khan's butler who has checked Aunt's address from the department store, reveals to Khan about Aunt's whereabouts. On the other hand, Mitsuko who also knows about Aunt's location visits her first. Mitsuko gives Aunt her clothes and a transport to help her get away. Upon chatting, Khan and his men arrive. Mitsuko hides Un from them and tries to convince them that Un is not here. Kang enters the room and immediately shoots her to death, mistaking her for Un. Un is shocked to know that her twin is dead, but she assumes Mitsuko's identity after some consideration. She gets on the taxi and goes to Kang's house as Mitsuko. There, she grieves deeply for Mitsuko since her twin dies just after meeting her. At night, Big Gun who survives the gunfight with Pistol, struggles to reach the cafe. Madam tries to convince him to flee, but he is determined to accomplish the mission's objective, despite his condition. At Khan's house, the butler who has been with the family for years, knows about Ahn. They get into a fight and it ends with Ahn strangling him to death. The next day, Pistol visits the general's son at Khan's house. Ahn who sees Pistol secretly tips him off with her true identity. Ahn plans to kill the targets at Mitsuko's wedding, and sacrifices herself in the process. Pistol decides to join the plan since he wants to protect her. In the police office, Yem is promoted for his esteemed service. 
As his first task as an officer, he questions Madame who has been helping the resistance. Before going to the police station, she parts with Big Gun and commits suicide. Finally, the wedding day has arrived. Many Japanese higher-ups gather and lots of soldiers guard the place. Luckily, Big Gun has successfully infiltrated the place. Pistol also enters the room and pretends to be the groom's personal guard. However, he is detained by Yem who recognizes him as the Korean mercenary whom he has hired. Suddenly, Big Gun enters the room and shoots at everyone with his Thompson. In a split second, the wedding ceremony turns into a bloodbath. Un also grabs her hidden gun and shoots the general to death. Big Gun blows up a stairs and injures many of the soldiers. Yem and Pistol who hear it go upstairs to join the fray. However, Yem cannot get past Big Gun, so he pretends to be the resistance captain whom Big Gun knows and shoots him. Yem low-key looks at his hands to check whether he is missing any more fingers. The resistance are cornered since they don't have the element of surprise anymore. However, the tables suddenly turn when Pistol joins the fight and supports the resistance. Un hesitates to kill Kang, but Pistol eventually shoots him to death. With the two targets having died, the resistance have officially accomplished their mission. Big Gun dies of bleeding while covering Ant's and Pistol's escape. They are able to convince the soldiers with their cover at first, but Yem shouts and informs them that Pistol has taken the bride and groom hostage. They are cornered but luckily Buddy comes to the rescue. Pistol covers their escape and they successfully arrive at the Madam's cafe. Pistol and Buddy plan to take the secret tunnel to flee, and release An, who pretends to be Mitsuko, as a part of negotiation. Then, Pistol shoots the general's son to death. Before separating, Pistol kisses An wholeheartedly for the first and the last time, and An walks freely by pretending to be Mitsuko. Pistol and Buddy try to flee, but they are cornered by Yim and the police who have been waiting for them. Buddy is executed on sight and Pistol is the next one in line. Yem continuously shoots at Pistol, but he keeps on getting up and manages to stab Yem's chest. In 1945, the Japanese surrender aboard the USS Missouri. The resistance celebrates their winning cheerfully, while also mourning their fallen compatriots. Four years later, Yem who has been made head of the police faces trial due to a witness testimony of him being a Japanese spy. He manages to deceive the courtroom and they believe that Yem is also a proud resistance member. As a last resort, the witness is called to testify. However, he has been murdered and leads to Yem's liberation. On his way home, Yem sees An and mistakes her for Mitsuko. He follows her to a remote alley where a resistance member, whom he thought he has killed, awaits. In the end, Yem is killed by the two of them and their mission is complete. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like and comment to help the channel out. Thank you for watching, and see you, next time.